Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. If you don't recall, I did a little review on this new Twisby fountain pen. It's the uh, 580 ALR in the nickel coloring. They did some uh, modification on the cap uh, accents that they have on there. They did a little mill graining uh, to smooth out, or not smooth out, but to give you a little more grip on the uh, little area there where you hold the pen, the grip area. And I've uh, been inking that up. I put a nice black ink in there. I couldn't find a gray to match the nickel coloring. But I was able to find a nice black in there. And I've been writing with it, working with it to see how I like it. And like with all the Twisbees I've been using, I do like this pen. And I found a little difference in this. Although I get all my 580s in this size, like my rose and my turquoise, I get those in fine points. And my minis in medium points. I found this one to be slightly different. So I did a little writing test. I'll bring that up close to you in a few seconds. But I found this one to be a little heavier being a fine point or fine nib than I do with my other ones that are fine nibs. So let's just go ahead and review that out and see what we got. As you can see on the first one I got the 580 ALR fountain nickel color and a fine point. It wrote smooth. I was really impressed with it. Maybe too smooth for a fine point and maybe that's why because it's slightly different. Next I did the 580 AL in the turquoise. That was also a fine point. You can see it's a nice tight fine line there. Also in the rose that is a fine point in the rose that I enjoyed doing that. And next time um, I did my minis which I do in mediums most of the time. That is the medium point 580 mini fountain pen in the turquoise and then also I followed that up with my medium AL mini fountain pen in the gold. Both the mini ones were showing a nice medium point. My other two 580 ALs were showing a nice fine point. But my new 580 ALR in the nickel coloring was a little heavier than I expected for being a fine point. It wrote nice and smooth. I'm not complaining that it uh, didn't write well or anything. It just wrote a little heavier than I expected for a fine point. So. Uh, I don't know if that was just inherent in this particular one that got produced or if all their ALRs are going to follow that same suit with a slightly heavier or different nibbing. As far as the design, I couldn't find anything different between that nib in the fine point and the regular fine point nib on my regular 580 AL. Uh, they both seem to have the same profile, same look and everything in both my turquoise and rose that I compared it to. So I'm not sure why this one is writing a little heavier as a fine point. Uh, perhaps it got stamped wrong. I'm not sure. But I had been in touch out with uh, Twisby out on Instagram. And they are going to be doing more colors in this styling with the uh, machined grip area and the accents. So I will follow up with new colors obviously for unboxings and comparisons. And just see if that fine point uh, characteristic follows through to the other fine points or this just happened to be a, a little error in the production of the Twisby. But like I said I like writing with it uh, like I do with all my Twisbees. They uh, are well made. They got nice design and uh, look to them. I've always enjoyed writing with them and I'm going to keep collecting the large ones and the mini ones. So we'll see how that goes in the upcoming ones of the ALR series. Hopefully they get some nice colors to go out there and bring to us. But in the meantime, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Have